This is how to set up the Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus. I'm Josh Smith with GotToBeMobile.com. I'm gonna walk you through how you can set up your brand new Samsung Galaxy S9. So one of the first things you're gonna do is turn it on. And on this screen, you're going to be able to either use a voice guide or just get started. We can also choose our language. I'm gonna leave it at English. I'm gonna hit start. I have a Verizon phone. They've sent this one over for us to check out and walk you through some of these features. On this page, I'm gonna to agree to all of these. You can go ahead and hit learn more and read more about it. You can't use the phone without agreeing to them. And now this phone is active and you'll see your phone number on screen. We'll have ours blurred out right here and we can go into next and I can set up Wi-Fi. So I can connect to one of my Wi-Fi networks by entering the password. And this can connect to the faster 5G connection in your house. And once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and hit next and it's gonna go ahead and check for updates. Now, if you just got this phone, you might not see an update, but if you're picking it up and it's been out for a little while, there's a good chance that you'll have to download and install an update. Now we're gonna sign in with our Google account. Once you have that all set up, you can choose if you wanna restore from a backup of one of your phones that you're already using. This is a nice way to get all of your stuff right onto the phone and be ready to go. I'm gonna choose don't restore because I wanna start fresh and just put on the stuff that I need and want to use on my new phone. So I can choose the different ways to protect my Galaxy S9. Intelligent Scan uses your face, your irises, a whole host of things, and it's the most feature-packed version. But you can also just choose no pin, which we don't recommend, or just a normal pin and fingerprint scanner. I'm gonna go with set up Intelligent Scan. And so to do this, I'm gonna first put a screen lock, which is my backup, and then I'm going to register my face and irises with the phone. So I'm gonna hit continue, and I'm going to choose a pin. And in my case, I'm gonna say require this when the phone turns on, and I'm gonna enter my pin. And you enter it again to verify your pin. Now here is a list of things you need to know about using the scanner. You wanna keep it at least eight inches away, uh, unofficial screen protectors might interfere with it, especially if they are uh, privacy protection ones, and uh, apparently don't use this feature with infants, so keep that in mind. And so I'm gonna hit next, and now I'm going to tap on setup, and I'm gonna hold the phone eight to 20 inches away from me, and I'm indoors, I wanna avoid direct sunlight. That can be a challenge for a lot of these features. I'm gonna hit continue, and I'm gonna put my face here in the center, and my face has been registered. And so I'm now going to register my irises. Once you get your irises registered, you can't really do it in this much brightness, but once you get those registered, then you'll go over to another screen and you can see some Google services. And so I'm gonna back this up to Google Drive and also turn on location, improve location accuracy. And basically, I accept all of these and hit agree. And now I'm gonna get walked through Google Assistant. I can decide if I want to give Assistant my location. Now here, since I'm on Verizon, I can choose if I wanna use Verizon Cloud. It gives you uh, some backup for contacts, messages, photos, and more. And in this case, I'm gonna skip it um, it's $5 per month for 500 gigabytes of storage space, which is a pretty decent amount. I've already set up my email, so I'm gonna hit skip, but if you had a work account, that would walk you right through it. Now I'm going to accept security and privacy. And from here, you can go ahead and set up and register your Samsung account. So here is the setup wizards done. And from here, I can use the Verizon app if I want to, to manage my account and do the Verizon up rewards and stuff like that. I'm gonna hit done, because I wanna get straight into the phone. And here we are. I'm gonna tap on this right away and agree to use my weather. And I'm gonna turn this on. That way, I can see the weather on my home screen for where I'm at. You have to share your location. And when you agree to that location, you're really just saying, okay, you can have my location to give me weather information for right there. So that's really the fast setup of what you need to do. So you may need to install a system update. As I can see right here, I am downloading a bunch of app updates and I am have a system update that I need to install. 
So that's really all there is to setting up your Galaxy S9 or Galaxy S9 Plus. I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com and you can check out more at GottaBeMobile and in links below.